Hey guys, welcome back to the vlogs. Welcome to another weekend in my life living in New York City. It is Friday and I got back from work not too long ago, so I'm ready to get this weekend started. And I was thinking about what I was gonna do today because I don't have any plans. But if you saw my last video, you know that I recently did an H&M home haul and I was so excited about all the pieces that I got but I haven't been able to like set them around in my apartment because I have too much decor out already. So I was thinking today would be the perfect day to kind of like switch out my decor, make room for the new pieces. And then I was also thinking about some other changes that I can make just with rearranging the furniture that I already have to make the apartment feel a little different. If you've seen any of my videos on my channel, you know I do this way too frequently, but I just get tired of my space and i'm coming up on two years of living in this apartment so i've got to do things to make it fun and exciting for me to live here every day and that's just what i do i rearrange i redecorate so that's what we're in for today let's go ahead and get started because i can't wait to see how these new pieces just switch up the space you guys loved the goldware that i showed you my gold silverware and i've been using that ever since i bought it but what i'm trying to make room for today are my vases I got this clear one and then this beautiful vase here and then this little like bowl dish so let's see how we can play around with a few things and restyle all right i think i want this vase to be the center of attention on this coffee table so i'm gonna move this bowl out this is gonna go into my cabinet where all of my extra decor goes but i really like having the vase here because once i have flowers it's gonna make for a nice focal point for my coffee table. And then maybe while we're here, we can switch out this candle for this bowl. I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy here, but I kind of like how that looks. All right, you guys, now here is where the heavy lifting comes in. I've been thinking about moving this tree that I have here and maybe putting it in the opposite corner by the windows over there instead of over here. So we're just gonna try it out. I can always move things back if I don't like them, but I'm gonna do that. Oh boy, okay. We got it, we got it. Now this space is empty and then here is the tree over here. I actually really like it. The only thing is, I don't think this plant can stay here now. So this makes room for my other vase. We're gonna put this vase here. And I think this is just so much better because the faux greenery with the real plant, it was just clashing too much. So I really like how simple and beautiful this is. And also like these pedestal stands, I feel like are made to elevate, you know, just a bouquet of flowers or something pretty like that. So I really gotta get some flowers in here, <laughs> but I like that for now. Now the real kicker is what we're gonna do with this corner because it is feeling a little empty and I've been thinking I wanna move my floor length mirror over here. If you remember when I first moved in, I tried it on like a diagonal, kind of like catty cornered, but I did not like it. It just felt like it really pushed into the living room a lot and since this space is super narrow, I didn't want it taking up any extra room that it didn't need to, but I'm gonna try something a little different. I think if I move the lamp and the stool, I can put it just right next to my TV stand flat on the wall so that it's not protruding out anymore, but it still kind of can hang out in this little area. So we're gonna see. Thank goodness this is easy to move. The lamp, however, I do have to unplug. Let me do that first. Okay, we're good. Let's bring the mirror in. Okay, let's see if I'm making a big mistake. Do I kind of love it? I'm not sure. Let me show you guys. Here is how it looks from afar. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like I've gotten so used to the way that I had it before that it's like hard for my brain to compute this new arrangement. But is it good? Is it not good? Do I need to put it all back? What do you think? Wait, one final thing. I wanted to put this lamp back in this corner but not where it was before. I'm thinking where the tree was would be a nice 
place for it. Is that weird that it's like sticking out? Ah, I don't know. What I do like about this new arrangement is that now I don't have anything protruding from this wall. But then like, is it weird that it's just blank and bare? <laughs> I'm also kind of loving this new mirror moment. I know it's very dirty, don't mind that. But the fact that I can like do selfies here if I want to, I don't know, it just looks so pretty back here. And I do like how the mirror looks there. It's just weird when you look at it from this angle. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna have to sit with this new arrangement and see how I feel in a few days. But the mirror can be something that I move around because I know I like to do like OOTDs there. So having it by my kitchen was just super easy, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think. Should I keep it how it is now? Should I go back to the way it was before? What are your thoughts? Hello, hello, happy Saturday. I got up this morning, walked out of my room and saw this, this bare blank wall <laughs> of nothing. And I don't know if I can get used to it, guys. Like I said, love the mirror over there. Don't love this. So the mirror might be back here by tonight. Anyway, I'm really excited because today I am going to be trying something new. I'm doing boxing today. The only experience I have boxing is at Rumble, which I used to do years ago. I took about five to 10 classes and I really liked it. It was fun, I liked the music, I liked like the vibe inside, but I can't say I was any good and I haven't done it in years. But today I'm gonna to be trying Grit just because a few friends invited me, so I figured why not? They were running like a little promotion. So I got it and we'll see how it goes. I am feeling a little nervous though because part of the class is on the treadmill and I'm really not a strong runner. Like I probably have said this before, but my joints are so weak, specifically in my legs and my feet. And I'm just, I've never been good at running. So I'm nervous for that. But then the rest of the class is either on the bags or doing like floor work so that I feel okay about. But we'll see how today goes because I got like the two class packs. So I'm in it again for next week. So if all goes well today, then I might just be a boxer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys know I love my F45 and that's going to be part of my routine for the foreseeable future. Anyway, I still have to finish getting ready for grit. So I'm probably gonna tie this hair back, put on something comfortable, and then we'll get going. Passing through the Union Square Market. It is alive and thriving on a Saturday. It's taking a lot of restraint not to buy something. <laughs> Alright, post-class fuel. We're here at the Ooh. Urban Market. This is actually my first time here, so hopefully we find some good eats. Bombolone, yum. All right, you guys, we are back home. What a workout. It was really good. It was like 55 minutes total, I think, which is a lot more than the 45 minute workouts I'm usually used to, but I enjoyed it. I already knew I was gonna be bad at the treadmills and I was definitely going like 
one or two speeds lower than everyone else at any given moment but that's fine i was going at my own pace um but literally every time he was saying to jog i was like walking every time he said to sprint and run i was jogging so definitely wasn't following the instructor but he was super chill and wasn't like pushing me too much but um it was fun i would definitely do it again but it's not something that I can be doing all the time, that's for sure. So yeah, it's always good to try something new, but now I'm home, I just showered, I'm refreshed. I did not wash my hair because honestly, you guys, I work out almost every day. I work out six times a week and I just can't wash my hair every day. Already as it is, I wash my hair very often, several times a week, but what are the gym girlies doing? Like, are you guys doing the dry shampoo? What's going on? I feel like when I put dry shampoo, it always leaves like a cast in my hair. So I don't really like that so much. I don't know, but I also don't like that feeling of being sweaty and product buildup and all that. So let me know what you guys do. Put me on because this is what my hair is currently looking like. And I feel like I might either have to wash it tonight or tomorrow because tonight is date night. So I wanna look nice for that. We're probably gonna go to a restaurant and then I bought some stuff to make chocolate covered strawberries, so that'll be fun. And then tomorrow I have plans during the day. So I want my hair to look good for the weekend, but again, I'm gonna be working out tomorrow morning. So I'm trying to figure it all out. You'd think I would have it sorted by now, but I don't. So yeah, anyway, I am going to hang out for a little bit, maybe do my nails, I don't know and then get ready for tonight. Let me figure out this hair situation and then we will be back to it a little later. I literally had a Mediterranean bowl after boxing, but I got hungry again. So I just made myself a PB&J shake, like a little smoothie. So I'm gonna have that for a little pick me up before dinner. And I think this should be so good. I did strawberries, peanut butter, banana, vanilla protein, and oat milk. So I'm excited for that. Chocolate covered strawberries in the making. We've got some chocolate melting already, but I think we're gonna add some more. We've got Theo's. This one is the, what is this one? Uh, this is the packaging for the one we have currently heating up. We got it from Whole Foods. day it is sunday i am getting ready to go to an f45 workout and then afterwards i'm having brunch with some of the gym girlies we are gonna go to an italian spot there will likely be pizza involved i'm <laughs> very excited about that and it should be a good time this is gonna be our first time like doing a big brunch all together so i'm really excited i've been thinking about what outfit to wear so i'll go ahead and show you that later too but let's get to this workout first. Here is the outfit. I'll show you guys more obviously when I put it on, but so glad I got this treadmill so it can serve as a place to put my clothing. Totally kidding, I actually use this like every day. <laughs> okay, here's the final outfit all pulled together. I've got these new Stan Smiths, love them, and I love the green in the back. And then the pink blazer, of course, so cute. And oh, I wanna show you my bag. This is actually one of the last purchases I made from Zara, but it is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with just like all the detailing. So this is my little accessory and it goes with the sleeves of the blazer. So that's my final look. Let's get to brunch. This is electronic. It's so much better. I'm stealing this. I wish I could do like a whole Do it. I can't though.
got home from brunch not too long ago but immediately got cozy sundays are just for r and r rest and relaxation all the way <laughs> but i've literally now had pizza two days in a row and i'm not mad at it I feel like I want to go on a journey to find the best pizza shops in New York City because we're known for our pizza and I don't know, sometimes I have like very mediocre Neapolitan pizza or like wood-fired pizza and I'm like, there's got to be better. The pizza I had this weekend was pretty good, but I've had like Polly G's and like well-renowned spots, but I want to find the hidden spots that like not many people know about. Maybe every weekend I might hit up a pizza joint, we'll see. But anyway, I've been thinking now that I'm back home and seeing the apartment again, I've had some thoughts and I wanted to share them with you about like the layout and stuff and how I've been rearranging the furniture and what I plan on doing next. So let's get into it. So literally this morning I had moved the mirror back to its original spot over here and then just now I put it back and I added this stool here with the plant and I feel like now it's starting to look a bit more complete and I really, really like it. I also switched out the two bowls here. So the gray one I put over there and then the brown one here because I thought they were clashing a bit before, but I really, really like how this is coming together. And then for this wall, let me turn on the light. For this wall, what I think I'm gonna do is buy some wallpaper. Clearly, I've tried to do some things already because the wall is kind of damaged, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to buy some wallpaper that goes from the top all the way down. And maybe I can add some color to this space. Maybe I can make it a whole vibe. I don't know. I think that's the solution because I just don't like seeing this wall bare. So it's not going to be in this video, but hopefully for the next one, I can get it all ordered and measured and then we can decorate this together. I'm so excited. So that's that for now. You'll have to stay tuned for next week's video to see what I end up doing with the wall. If I get wallpaper, but yeah, stick around. I'm excited for these changes. I feel like even though some of these are really subtle and minute, like they do make a big difference. So I'm loving the way things look and I can't wait to finish redecorating. So I'll see you guys next week for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.